Hi, this is Jeannie from Metal Dollhouse Rescue. I've had a really busy week this week, so this is the first time I've had a chance to be in my doll room this week. And so I have gotten behind on opening my packages again, and I thought I'd go ahead and do a quick unboxing video to show you what I've been buying. So let's start. Here's my first box. I've got, I think, six or seven boxes to show you today. So let's take a look. This first box looks like this, and I got it from, I think it's an eBay box. Let's take a look. This is not, this is some furniture that I got from one of our people here on our group. So let's um, see what it looks like. My dog's down here, so if you can hear a clatter, that is him. All right, here is what it looks like. You can tell very nicely wrapped, so you know it came from a collector that knows how to package furniture for dollhouses because it's very fragile. Let's see what it is. I do remember, so I'm excited to show you. I'm excited to get this and excited to show you. Very nicely wrapped. Double wrapped within the box. It's got tissue on it. Fortunately, I've got my scissors so we can get it snipped open. Oh, it's so cute. This is a piece I've been wanting. I've seen that some of you have it in your houses. Um, it's the little cabinet for the kitchen with the little shelves on it. It's a piece that I did not have. This furniture was made by Plasco, and there's the table that goes with it. Let's see what else is in here. Another package. Bubble wrapped. Open that up. Then within the bubble wrap, it's also tissue wrap. Thank you very much for the nice wrapping. And thank you to all of you on the site that are willing to share your treasures with each other and with me, as well as your knowledge. Very much appreciate it. Can you guess what it is? Maybe, right? Because we've had two kitchen pieces already. cute sink. Again, Plasco goes with the rest of the set. I don't know if I'll take time to show you. I do have a Wolverine house sitting here on my work table and this stuff is a perfect match for a Wolverine size house. And I've got a new um, a new rule. Every, t every house that's on my work table is my favorite house. So today, Wolverine is my favorite house because it's on my work table. It's actually getting a little rehab done that I'll probably show you another day. The refrigerator. Look, it's beautiful. My lady in my dollhouse is going to be super happy with this stuff. Another piece, double wrap. Oops, my little dog. One more piece. It's the stove. Give my dog a little pet here so he'll be good. Okay, let's see what's in this. My dog got a new toy. So he is really excited. All he wants to do, all he ever wants to do is play with this toy, but now that he's got a new toy, he's especially excited. We'll give him a lot of time and attention. This was in the same package, and I think, I don't know, let's see what it is. I don't know what all she might have tucked in here. Oh, yes. Oh, how pretty. Little chairs to go with the table. And it's got that matching blue on it from the Plasco Blue. I think we pretty well got our kitchen complete. But wait, there's a little more. Oh, I bet I know. I bet it's two more chairs. Let's check it out. We've had a busy week this week. Started out with a trip to Minnesota where we spent several days. And then I got home. Of course, I got a, a short week then here at home. And I spend I like to spend time with my grandkids. And I still work at the hospital part-time. So I had some working to do and some work to get caught up on. So it's been a busy week here. And I have not been in my doll room at all this week. 
Oh, really super cute. Look at We have a mop. We can keep our floor clean. And a nice little package full of dishes and miscellaneous. Yay, thanks so much. I just, again, I really appreciate so much when um, our group helps each other out with buying, selling, trading, listing, sharing. It's amazing. Okay, let's see. I've got some, I think, let's see. I think these are eBay items. Let's take a look. This is definitely an eBay item. It says Fragile on it. This lady, I seldom really chit-chat with people that I buy from. This lady I did do a nice chit-chat with, and she told me she's been my previous collector. I sort of remember what I bought. She's been a previous collector. Oh, look. She's, oh, she's got a cute little note card in there. She gave a nice little thank you note in there. But um, she'd been a previous collector. Now she's downsizing like many of us are, and someday I'll be doing that too. I, I, probably not the too far distant future. In the meantime, I'm still buying just because I can't resist. Um, and I invited her to join this group just because I can tell she had a heart and a passion for dollhouses. So even though she's downsizing, I think she'd enjoy our group. And I hope she does join us. I'm not going to share her name, but uh, I'm watching for her name. I'm hoping she will join us. She had this lot for sale on eBay, and I couldn't resist it because it's one of my favorite pieces. And there's several here, and this is, these are Renoir, and they're the card table with the little legs that come down. And she's got three of them, and they all have their little functioning legs on them. The legs fold down just like a real card table. And these were kind of her odds and ends left from her own collection. They all work. And then in addition, it's got the little folding chairs. And there's one, two, three, four, five folding chairs and I just thought they were so stinking cute and I love those so um, I bought the little lot so you can be watching for those see what I do with those where I put them or what I do with them okay let's take a look at this this is um I believe let's take a look where it's from this is I think another eBay lot not a lot item that I bought this has been very nicely wrapped by our eBay person Got lots of tissue wrap, and inside, lots of tissue wrap. Tissue wrap for padding, tissue wrap around this item. Ooh, love it. So cute. It's just like Christmas. Look what I got. It's a cute little old car. I don't know a lot that I bought cars, but this looked like it reminded me of some of you that have your cute little scenario set up. And this reminded me, I thought it might be the right size. It says it's made in Japan, so you know it's probably really good quality. And uh, it's hard for me to read the, it's a sign of quality, made in Japan. So, cute little car to park outside or in the garage of one of my houses. Love it. I don't know a lot about cars, but I thought that was really cute. And, you know, the price wasn't too bad. I don't want to spend a lot of money on the car in my driveway. Okay, this is an eBay item that I bought, not from... A dollhouse section but another section on eBay and I thought this might be really fun and I don't want to show you the side of the box the other side because they have put a picture on here of what it is but and I'm going to open up and kind of surprise you because this is one of those things again it's nicely wrapped it's got a box in a box another box get it opened up here can you hear my dog he never gives up okay let's take a look hmm what is it? It's as cute as I thought it would be. I saw this for sale. I think it might have been in the model train area. Look what it is. It's a swimming pool. This is new, but the scale I think is going to be just right to go outside one of my dollhouses. I always look at you guys that have the old, the pools, the original ones, and I think, boy, I'd love to have one of those, but I know they're really fragile and they're hard to come by. It's got a little diving board on it. This is super cute. My dollhouse people and kids are just going to go nuts for this. So this is new. I think it's size H scale. I don't know a lot about about um, model train. Oh, O scale. And look, it had the picture right on the package, so I knew what was going to be in there. O scale. And it was not very expensive, and it's new. So if you're looking for a swimming pool, and you don't mind if it's not vintage, one nice thing about it, it's a little heavier plastic. It's not that super lightweight plastic, so it's a little more durable. And it's complete with a little um, diving board. Super cute. Look for it on eBay. Let's see what else we got. So fun. 
All right, we got this little package. This is from, uh, oh, this I got on eBay. I've been looking at this for a while, and finally I thought, well, I'm going to give it a try. And this is something that was, I think, uh, from a, a Japanese or Chinese seller. And this is new, nicely wrapped. It is new, but it's dollhouse furniture. And so I thought, and it's not real expensive. It's got five or six pieces in it. But I just wanted to get it and see, you know, is this cute? Is this stuff my, my friends would like or not? So I'm like your, your guinea pig. I bought this for you guys to show you what it looks like. Maybe you've seen it for sale on eBay. It's not real expensive. It's got several pieces of furniture. Look, it's got a tiny TV, little plastic legs. You can see it's got like Chinese on it or something. It's got a little, um, I don't know if it's like a little radio or cabinet. Super cute. This is a little, um, you know, I can't read the Chinese, but it's a little table and it's got stuff on it. I don't know. I presume there's little legs in there that fold down or attach. I don't know. We'll have to check it out and see, but it's got really cute little stuff on the table. Maybe a deck of cards and stuff. Very cute. I'll put my hand up there so you can see the size. What else we got? This is a little, uh, oh, this is cute. This is like a little cabinet too. I'm going to open this up because it looks like it might have a sliding door that will open and shut. We'll see. Yeah, it does. It's got little sliding. Okay, it's a little cabinet. And it's got little doors that slide open and shut. They look like sort of like frosted glass, but they're plastic. That's really cute. My dog is helping me out down here. He's always, he's always so around and, oh. This is really, really cute. A little table look with a little tiny black telephone on it. Super cute. I think this is a really good scale, probably like 124 scale. And uh, again, not very expensive. So this is a little tiny sewing machine. I'm going to open it up so you can see it better. I don't know. It's got like, is it got like little magnets? You know what? I bet they're magnets. Like you could put on your refrigerator. We'll check them out here. I've got, I'll stick them on my Wolverine and see what they do. You know, with a Wolverine especially, those little magnets will come in handy because Wolverine furniture tends to want to tip over sometimes with those little um, ledges and screws that are in there. Okay, this is a little tiny sewing machine, really small. And this is the little chair that goes with it. And yes, it's got magnets mounted on the back, which will be really handy, especially like in a Wolverine. Uh, well, this is a 124 scale or maybe even a little smaller. So I probably will not put this in the Wolverine. I'll probably put it in one of my, um, like a Mark's Colonial house because it's just a little bit small for uh, the Wolverine. It's got um, this little, you know how sewing machines have that little table that stick out? It's got one of those. This one's not attached. So I will have to look at that and see if that can be reattached. I think it can. We'll have to look at that and play with that a little bit. I think it goes right there like that. Cute. I would. I like it though. And I don't think this stuff was not crazy expensive. Most of it's a pretty good scale for a 124 house. Those little magnets on the back are kind of cute. I mean, you could do something else with them, I suppose. Okay, let's see what else I got. I think I got one or two more. All right, this one came, this one concerned me. This I got on eBay, and it came in an uh, envelope, nice big envelope. I won't show the address. And it says uh, fragile, and it says do not crush, which is a good thing because it's not very well packed in there, just in a big old envelope. And I remember what this is, and I hope it is not crushed. We'll see. My dog and his new toy. My dog is a golden doodle. We have three dogs and they're all golden doodles. He's our newest one and he is he's very puppy like. Although he's four years old, he's very puppy like. And we got him um, from my daughter who had trouble taking care of him because she works all day. Look at this is really cute. 
it's new on the not new it's on the card it's vintage I was concerned to be crushed because it was not really well packaged just in a padded envelope I always hate to open new things but I'm probably going to have to open that because you know I love my um, nursery furniture and it's loaded with a crib and a cabinet and it says on it on the listing, yeah, it says Louis Marks and Company Incorporated. So it is a Mark, they are Marks toys. But they're still on the card, sealed. And I don't know, I always hate to take them off. But I probably will because, you know, I love, 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 love those. All right, this I got on eBay. And I got it on recommendation from our group. And so it's something I'm going to try out and let's see what it is. Not technically furniture, but... It's those little magnets that so many of you have been buying and you attach it to your furniture or your lights and then it makes your stuff easy to put into your house or, and makes it stable. I think you can use them to put lights on the ceiling and they're just little bitty magnets and you have to glue them to stuff to make them work. So I got that on the recommendation of our group and I think I've got one more so bear with me. This one is, it's a nice big box and I got this, this is furniture I bought on our recent sale day. And so um, I'm sure it'll be lovely. It's from one of our collectors here on the on the site. I'm not gonna reveal who. You guys can take a look. Oh boy, this is loaded with number one. It's loaded with peanuts, so you know it was somebody that really cared. Let me check on my dog a second. All right, let's take a look. It's loaded with peanuts, so we're gonna make a mess in our doll room. But I love that it's nicely packed. <gasps> My favorite. Nursery stuff. Cute. A playpen. Let's see what else we have. Bubble wrapped. Yay. Thank you for taking such good care of, of these tiny treasures. Even my eBay stuff was pretty well wrapped this time. The only thing that wasn't was that one. Okay, these are some um, wheels from one of the carriages or several of the carriages, and I knew that they're that those would come separated like that. You know me, I don't mind doing a little rehab on stuff. This is a stroller, probably goes with those wheels. I also got a new bottle of glue. Somebody recommended that three-in-one craft glue, so I bought some of that. So I'll be trying that on some of my lovely little furniture. That needs repairs that's a really cute baby buggy that stuff seems to be the 116 size a little bit bigger sized look at this is in a little tiny box thank you so much for, for protecting our tiny treasures yay potty chair goes in my little potty chair collection i also want to give a shout out to um this is um one of those little sleeping babies that goes in a buggy or a crib. I'm going to give a shout out to Linda Gant, who um, two months ago I ordered from her on our sale day. And I wasn't doing opening videos then, but I got lovely, lovely petite princess furniture from her. In fact, I just bought more this week or this sale day from her. Um, and if you haven't used petite princess furniture in your dollhouses, it's more like the 116 size. It's very, very nice um, in the dollhouses. It's beautiful. Here we've got a little toilet. Some kitchen chairs. Somebody commented about, it seems like it's kind of hard to, keep, to find good tables and even chairs because I think the legs are kind of spindly and lightweight. These are in very nice condition. So I know I need to up my game on dining room tables and chairs because, you know, I don't know if you're keeping track, but I have 17 dollhouses now. So um, somewhere I'm going to have to come up with 17 tables eventually or, or sell some dollhouses. Maybe, maybe, maybe we will, maybe we won't. I think we will because I don't think I have room to store 17 or display. Oh, another buggy. Cute. Again, I knew those wheels were going to be separate. I don't have a problem with that at all. I love our collector group um, when they're so generous about selling their items. And, you know, they tend to sell them very reasonable. They're very understanding that they're not, don't have to pay eBay fees. 
and you can trust that what they say it's going to be is what you're going to get and I really very much appreciate that I'd rather buy from our group than buy from eBay if possible cute very well packed a nice little um, vanity for a bedroom another individual box and this has got a little radio console radio TV console in it a little nightstand super cute and there's one more thing in here a little yellow um, sink for either laundry room or bathroom or kitchen I've seen those a lot of times in the laundry room there's another little box oh cute this is my my week my weakness right a little nursery another nursery high chair that's two high chairs if you're counting tonight and a little bathtub this is the 124 scale this is the 116 scale a little bit bigger scale are we at the end we're getting there got a little bit more here's another little box oh yes mm -hmm. potty chair Oh, this is a, a mangle. This is um, what in the old-fashioned days, a lot of times the ladies had this to iron clothes. And my mom had one of these mangles. I can remember it sitting in the house and she'd heat it up and how it smelled so hot, like a great big hot iron. I remember my mom having one of those. It was a pain to use and it took up quite a little bit of room in the house. But um, you could use it, I think, especially for big things like sheets and stuff. You know, because you had to run the clothing through it, like a shirt or something would kind of smash everything flat. But it worked very nice for sheets and stuff. And back in the day, you know, they didn't have a lot of permanent press. So I think that's why it was used. This is a um, little uh, stove and um, sink. And I knew that it had some damage, and it does. And I don't have a problem with that. That was absolutely indicated on the listing. And you know me, I don't mind getting my glue out and doing stuff with stuff like that. Ah, a toilet. Didn't show up very good. It's a 124. I don't know about you, but I have learned a lot about doll houses and doll house sizes in my time in this group. Here's a little 124 sink. And again, it's got lakes gone, but I'm not concerned about that. And a little refrigerator. I don't know, I think theirs are always so cute. Those little 124 refrigerators. I know I say cute a lot. I can't help it. It's true. It is cute. And I think this is my last little package. This has been another long video. I shouldn't let it pile up, but it's been such a busy week. I just not could not take the time to get in here and see what I got. Mm, this is a little, um, oh, it's like a, what am I want to say? Bathinette? Is that what they used to call them? Oh, there's my dog again. Yep, and here's the like little legs for it and the little lid, and I think it's all there, so we'll be getting that put together. All right, thanks so much for joining me. See you in the doll room. Talk to you later.